Hello, coolers. Welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on the latest as usual. We are going to start with this report claiming that Barcelona have finalized the 250 million euros economic deal with CVC agreement is set to be signed on the 30th of June this year. We are going to be discussing on that as we move ahead. Then secondly, talking about Pablo Gavi, it has been reported that Portuguese super agent Josh Mendes is pushing to represent the Barcelona teenage sensation. We are also going to be discussing on that. Thirdly, talking on this transfer story, claiming that Barcelona are still strongly considering the pursuit of this 80 million euro rated Uruguayan striker who plays for Benfica, Darwin Nunes. We are also going to be looking at that. Then to conclude, talking on this other transfer news, claiming that Barcelona are showing interest in signing Paris Saint-Germain winger Angel Di Maria, who will be a free agent in the summer. We are going to be discussing on that as well. So guys, as we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, give the video a like and make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. Barcelona are planning to have a huge summer transfer window this year, possibly signing a striker, a right winger, a right back and a left back. However, to bring in any reinforcements, Barcelona would need a huge economic boost. Goal has provided Barcelona fans with a huge positive boost in that form, reporting that the club has in fact closed a 250 million euros deal with CVC. The deal will be signed on 30 June this year if nothing else changes. The deal will help Barcelona reverse the negative salary limit and stop depending on La Liga wage rules. However, through this deal, Barcelona and other clubs in La Liga will have to give up their television rights for the next 50 years. Go reports that one of the sources inside the club has said it's not the best operation because we do not want to give up rights for 50 years, but we have solved 80% of the problem. Barcelona are pursuing some heavyweight signings in June, starting with that of striker Haaland for several months was their priority target. They have now dropped the, that idea given that it will cost nearly 300 million euros across the next five years. Robert Lewandowski has come up as an alternative, but Bayern will do their best to make sure that transfer is next to impossible for Barca. The Polish striker wants a long-term deal um, at any club he signs for, something that is risky given that he's 33 years old. Wordly enough, Barca seem ready to shell out a transfer fee and a three-year contract for the legendary striker. Laporta recently told a fan that the operation is a real possibility. All said and done, the transfer window of 2022 is bound to be the most chaotic one fans will see possibly ever. Then on to the next story of discussion, as reported by journalist Gerard Romero, Portuguese super agent George Mendes is keen on adding Barcelona midfielder Gavi to his ranks. Gavi has a valid contract with Barcelona until 2023 and it goes without saying that joining forces with one of the most respected and powerful agents in world football will only help him in getting a better deal. Talks between Gavi and his current representative Ivan de la Pena have been happening since January, but as reported by Fabrizio Romano, it is believed that the negotiation is now in the final stages and all that is left is to have one final meeting. His current situation has gained a lot of attention and it is certainly not limited to the football clubs. Mendes, who has one of the biggest clientele in football, is tempted to add another Barcelona player in his agency. Now Gavi has no personal preference in this matter since he is happy to work with Ivan de la Pena. The young star is in fact grateful to his agent for all the work he has done for the midfielder. The midfielder considers de la Pena as one of the key figures of his young career and gives the credit where it is due. At the same time, however, he knows Mendes' offer is right on the table. So how can Mendes be the key? You know, it is believed that Barca have put forward a five-year extension for Gavi and this includes a significant appraisal in salary as well. In reality, however, the figures mentioned are nowhere near the sum the likes of Manchester United, Liverpool or any other suitor can offer. It is good for Barcelona that Gavi's personal preference is to continue, but the numbers need to be aligned as well. Now, this is where Mendes comes into the picture. 
The Portuguese agent has a great working relationship with Barcelona, having brokered several deals in the past, including that of Nelson Semedo and Adama Traore. On top of that, he also has the likes of Ansu Fati, Nico Gonzalez and Alejandro Bave within his ranks. Of these three, Ansu Fati has already benefited with a lucrative deal. For Gavi, although he's happy with De La Pena, he knows the kind of impact Mendes could, could make in his young career through which he could achieve much more. Then on to the next story of discussion. Barcelona are in the market for a new striker this summer. The club's hierarchy wants to add more quality in the goal-scoring department despite signing Ferran Torres and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang in January. After being priced out of move for Erling Haaland and Kylian Mbappe, Barcelona had set their sights on Lewandowski, but the operation to sign the Polish hitman has taken a difficult route, with the club now considering potential alternative. According to Fabrizio Romano, one of Barcelona's favourite alternatives in the quest to sign a new number 9 is Darwin Nunes. The Benfica forward has been one of the rising stars in Europe this season, mesmerising the onlookers with his performances in the Portuguese league and even in the UEFA Champions League. Since joining Benfica in 2020, Nunes has scored 47 goals in 82 competitive appearances for the Eagles, making him one of the most sought-after strikers in Europe. Barcelona are among the clubs involved in the hunt for the Uruguayan international this summer, and earlier this month they were handed a massive boost as the forward switched his agency, opting for Portuguese super agent Josh Mendes. This could play into Barca's hands as the club shares good relationship with Mendes. Hence, Barca could enter the market for the Benfica forward this term with the help of the Portuguese agent who is also the representative of Adama Traore. However, the operation could be made trickier by the forward's hefty price tag with Benfica holding out for a fee of around 75 to 80 million euros. It is quite a fortune for a player who is here to be tested in any of Europe's top 5 leagues so far, potentially forcing Barcelona to explore other alternatives including AC Milan's Rafael Leo. Then on to the final story of discussion. Continuing the train of Barcelona's interest in free agents, it has been reported that um, the club is interested in signing Paris Saint-Germain winger Angel Di Maria. The Argentine becomes a free agent in the summer and wants to continue his career in the top leagues despite turning 34 this year. Apart from Barca, Juventus, Atletico Madrid and Benfica are also expressing their interest in him. PSG are yet to open renewal talks with the winger, and with every passing month, his departure becomes inevitable. Barcelona's interest is especially interesting, for Di Maria is a former Real Madrid player, not only that but, you know, he was considered a hero for the club and rode to their run in the 2013-14 Champions League. He was awarded the man of the match in the final against Atletico, creating two chances and completing six dribbles. However, he left after that season, joining Manchester United and Paris Saint-Germain soon after that. Di Maria was an indispensable part of the French capital outfit before the season, registering over 300 direct goal contributions in a little less than 300 appearances. Things have changed for him this season, you know. After Messi's arrival, Di Maria has been reduced to just 21 appearances in the league with 3 goals and 5 assists while creating 12 big chances. That said, Barcelona's interest in him is not surprising. Xavi has requested the club to sign a right winger among three other positions in right back, left back and a striker. The Argentine feels in the winger quota but can also play as a left winger, central midfielder and attacking midfielder. It certainly seems that the summer transfer window will have a few more headlines than fans would have expected. So with that we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.